As garbage men, we receive shipments on the daily. The city has tasked us with finding a way to get rid of the extra garbage. From a lab nearby, they have given us extra amounts of calcium carbide. Through a mistake, we found that when calcium carbide mixes with water, it forms acetylene gas. And through further research, we found that acetylene gas is combustible. The production of acetylene gas includes calcium carbide and two molecules of water, which yields acetylene gas and calcium hydroxide. The enthalpy is negative 127.2 kilojoules per mole. The combustion of acetylene gas includes two acetylene gas molecules, five oxygen molecules, which yields four carbon dioxide molecules, and two water molecules. The enthalpy of the reaction is negative 1,229 kilojoules per mole. For our data, we used four grams of calcium carbide, which we then divided by the molar mass to receive the amount of moles of calcium carbide used in the reaction. Then using the balanced equation, we found that there is a one-to-one -one ratio between calcium carbide and acetylene gas. Lastly, we multiply by the molar mass of acetylene gas And finally, using all those calculations, our theoretical yield is 1.62 grams of acetylene gas. The ideal gas law is PV equals NRT, P as pressure, V for volume, N for moles, R is constant and T for temperature. In order to find the pressure, we have to multiply both sides by the volume, which is the V. Using this equation, we determine 2.75 atmospheres of pressure. Acetylene gas is nonpolar, including ion ion bonds with hydrogen bonds. Using a triple bond to connect the carbons, acetylene gas is a hybridization it is sp. Acetylene, a fuel used for welding torches, is comprised of 92.3% carbon and 7.7% hydrogen. Carbon is oxidized. Hydrogen is reduced. Here are the materials you need. Put 4 grams of calcium carbide on the evaporating dish and place inside your catalyst. Then add 50 mm of water and close the catalyst. Lastly, light the stick and insert it into the catalyst. Thanks to this reaction, we solved the city's problem. Thank you for joining us on our chemical adventure.